Hello, and welcome back to the Healing and Wisdom channel. I'm Dr. Crystal Nix, chiropractor and certified acupuncturist. And this video today is gonna to be focused on eating for the winter season, but in a mind, body, and spirit perspective. So we're not gonna just cover how to make our bodies look good and everything, but it's actually the feel good in our mind, body, and spirit type of perspective. So the way that we'll do that is actually building upon that, um, that principle of living seasonally. So this idea of living and especially eating seasonally comes from a few different perspectives. In my training in Chinese medicine, that is one of the pillars that all of the Chinese medicine um, remedies as well as treatments and uh, principles and perspectives derives from is the seasonal focus. So as I was looking for understanding in order to create a more concise um, form of being able to understand for myself and also to share with my patients, I was looking to find what could actually bring that into a more simple perspective. So I actually found what's called the Word of Wisdom and that really surprised me because it's from more of a spiritual perspective as well as again this mind body spirit so i found it really insightful because it actually again um, brings some of these eastern philosophies both from chinese medicine as well as ayurvedic medicine and puts it in this compact little nutshell that is so precise and concise at the same time and um, so I invite you to look into that if you'd like. Um, but still, what we're gonna focus on is eating seasonally for the winter season right now. So we're gonna break this down into four different subjects, basically. So we're gonna focus first on seasonal foods, more of the vegetation side, proteins, as well as um, our grains, and then our liquids. So we'll kind of go into all of those. First off though, um, I did want to make mention that focusing on what is fresh and available in your specific region is the first place to start. So um, thinking with more of this vegetation side um, or with the seasonal foods, we're going to focus first on whatever's local for you. So I'm in Florida and so our whatever we've got here in um, Orlando area during the winter season is gonna be way different than what they've got in Washington State. So the more specific you can get, the better. At the same time, if it's at least within your geographic uh, region, so if it is within your country, even if it is a little bit more spread out, that's better than using foods that are from like a whole different region that's, that's not local to you. So that's step one. One website that I've come to really lean on in terms of knowing a little bit more about my specific foods that are in season, I don't necessarily have a green thumb and I'm working on it. Um, so I lean on a few other experts on that. There's a website called The Spruce Eats and they have for your specific regions, what is available, what's producing just like during the different seasons of the year. So they're really awesome. So that's first off, is eating what's local. Next is we're actually gonna focus in on more of the water element supportive types of foods. So the water element, the color, and the energy that is associated with that color tends to be more of blue. Think of, you know, water is more blue, but like a deep blue, even a black. Think of the ocean, it looks rather black in some areas because it's just so deep. So think of foods that are deep in, that, in those colors, as well as that could be energetically warming. So you want to feel warmer during the winter seasons and um, not necessarily hot, because that could get us in that um, kind of out of our element, in that, in that water element. It can kind of bring us out of balance, but warming internally. So we'll break this down. We're gonna first focus on a couple fruits. So blackberries, blueberries, these are obviously the right color that we're looking for. But then in terms of things that are more abundant during the winter season, 
are citrus. So even though it doesn't necessarily match the color, it is what's in season during the winter season. So those are a few fruits. Then in terms of um, more vegetables, vegetable options, we've got kale, um, black radish, um, seaweed, we've got collard greens, as well as olives. So those are a really great set of options to kind of switch out and try out maybe even. Then the next one are legumes. So legumes that would have that hue would be of course black beans, even black eyed peas, and then even kidney beans, which is really great in particular because not only is it closer in the hue and uh, the color that we're looking for, but it's also helping the kidney meridians. So um, if you're kind of new to eating in this fresh type of way, um, try not, like, I, my hope is not to get you overwhelmed. That's not the idea here. I want to help you feel encouraged. So just look at that list and say, okay, these are ones that actually are doable for me. Those are ones that I already eat and so I can just get more of that. Or if you're feeling a little more adventuresome, just say, okay, we're gonna try out some black radish here and see what we can do with that. So um, that's a way to just begin to integrate this into your life during this winter season. Okay, next we're gonna talk about proteins. So proteins, there's a lot of conversation in terms of um, eating meat or not. So actually the word of wisdom brings some great insight into this and it again mirrors what Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine um, support. And that is actually doing as less meat. The idea is more like eating meat sparingly. But during the water or the winter season, that is a time where it is energetically warming and supportive for us. Another part is too, there are areas that, you know, are just, they have so much snow that they don't have anything that's really produ producing at this time of year. So what they would have had was either the stuff that they had in storage, the people who were, you know, who live in those areas, or they'd have to go out and hunt and find some sort of extra food that way. So that's why during the, the winter season, it is actually more suggested to have some meat. You don't need to just like eat meat all the time only, that's it. Um, but it is a good time if you are um, wondering about that, it's a good time to actually enjoy some meat. Also, eggs are a great option too during the winter season if you're trying to do more of a vegetarian option. So that would be a great one. All right, so the next section here is grains. So we're gonna do a lot more on grains in another video, but we're just gonna talk about a couple for the winter season in particular. So quinoa is a really great one because it's gluten-free. So if you have any sort of um, issues with gluten intolerance or wheat and all of that, sticking with quinoa is a great option, as well as black rice. This is, again, the right color for the water element season. And then another one that might be helpful and enjoyable, and again, that energetically warming flavor, is einkorn. So einkorn is, it is a wheat variety, but it tends to also, for those who are more gluten sensitive rather than gluten intolerant, they actually tend to do all right with einkorn. So play with those, see what you think. And then next, last part that we've got are liquids. So first, water element, time to drink more water. So just trying to do more than what you already do. I'm not trying to say like you gotta do a specific regimen or anything like that, but just being intentional with your relationship with water would be really great. Um, I prefer more of a neutral as opposed to specifically the alkaline because it can create um, the first organ that it tends to hit is the stomach, which is a completely acidic environment. So that gives you a little bit of insight there. You can run with it, what you think. Um, if you're, if alkaline's working for you, then you know, do what you need to do. But either way, just think about water a little bit more in this season in particular. Now let's also talk about in terms of liquids, coffee. So again, it has the right color, right? However, 
in Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, and the word of wisdom, they all bring this wisdom of reducing coffee from our lives. So the reason why, especially in Chinese medicine, they give a lot of um, specific insight here. So it creates stagnation within the body, which is basically just blockages, especially in those meridians that we've talked about. Again, in the water element season, it's more of the kidney and the bladder meridians. And think about that with how coffee can sometimes create issues for those two organs in particular. So because it is black um, and it is actually energetically warming, if you are going to drink coffee, winter is the season to have some, but I would suggest using it as the season to consider how you can start to shift away and being able to try out other options because the rest of the year is not black and it's not about having necessarily the energetically warming um, focus. So it is good to just be mindful of this. I'll have some more videos in terms of how to maybe be more supportive as you make that transition. I don't want you to cut cold turkey because we can have different withdrawal effects. But one thing that you can begin doing is actually using an herbal tea like chicory root. That is, again, a similar color and it has a similar flavor, but it doesn't have that stagnating effect within our bodies as well as in our minds and the jiggeriness that we end up getting. So um, chicory root is great, as well as um, in terms of other types of herbal tea options would be lemongrass. That is really great for this season in particular because it's so supportive of the water element. It's one of the herbs and oils that I talked about in my um, video a couple videos ago, which I'll add in on this so you can be able to read that or watch it and see some of the different herbs and essential oils that are also good during the season. So those are the four things that I wanted to equip you with so you can be able to live more from this healthy and centered and clear space, body, mind, and spirit during the winter season. I look forward to seeing you again. Please, if you have questions, feel free, write it out, and I'd love to talk it over and um, be able to just be supportive of you as you're trying out maybe eating seasonally or if you're like if you've been doing this for forever great share that with our community we would love to be able to tap on you for your insight as well so we're so glad to be able to support you in this winter season and hope that you have a great nourished and happy um, rooted winter season love you guys bye bye